I didn't realize this at the time, but I photographed the same galaxy exactly five years ago to the day. On August 26th, 2017, my life would change forever. Now, let's fast forward to 2022. We are packing up for Starfest today, our first star party in Canada ever. Can you believe that? This one has been around since before I was born, and that is saying something because I am no spring chicken. Starfest officially started in 1982, and since then it has become one of the top 10 star parties in the world. It's about two hours north of Toronto, and it's an impressive Bortle 3 considering its proximity to a big city. We've stayed at a few Airbnbs around that area and I know how dark it is out there. We are bringing the camper Voyager 1 and uh, not Rudy unfortunately though. He's staying with uh, his auntie for this trip. But Ashley's coming of course because she's a diehard astrophotographer now and I'm not going to help her whatsoever with anything gear related this entire trip. Great. We each have our own mounts and scopes running and it will be an epic battle to see who can take the best image? I think I'm gonna lose. No. If the weather cooperates, of course, though, because uh, at this point it could go either way. I feel like I always say that. I know. I just start partying. Where's the beer? I gotta stay awake somehow. I need some caffeine. One of the first questions an astrophotographer will get when they go to a star party is, what target are you shooting tonight? And by now there should be no surprises in terms of the decision-making process of what to shoot at a dark sky site. No narrow band filters, no bright hydrogen regions, something broadband and possibly faint to really take advantage of those dark skies. We're leaving in about 15 minutes. I just need to make sure we have everything we absolutely need to photograph some deep sky objects this weekend. So I've been thinking a lot about the deep sky target I'm going to shoot while I'm out here at Starfest and I'm about 85% sold on the idea of shooting the Andromeda Galaxy. I know, cue the eye roll for the 23rd time. But this time I'm going to shoot a mosaic. Yep, the M word. Okay, it's only two panels, but still it's going to be my most epic detailed portrait of the Andromeda Galaxy yet. You playing cards? Joker. You're sitting next to him. <laughs> Nice and cool with the windows Boston open. Boston turned a little bit, but it was nice and cool. I slept like a log. I know you did.
So it was a rainy early first night here at Starfest, but we did get a chance to catch up with some old friends and even meet a few new ones. The weather on the way here was really dicey. We drove through a tornado warning and I don't know if I've ever seen clouds looking quite so vicious. But it looks like now the weather is taking a turn for the better and we've got a clear night on deck for tonight. Hey, there he is. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Yeah, really yeah. good to see you. You made a long drive over, right? Eh? Yeah. Hey, Rob. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. You've been to Starfest before, right? 30 years. 30 years. So well, almost the beginning since it started. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And you were saying that uh, you looked at the weather forecast tonight. Looks like it's going to be. Tonight is going to be a beauty, and tomorrow night is going to be a beauty. How do you like the sounds yeah, of that? It's, it's That's good nice. to me. Yeah. And are you setting up a telescope tonight? I'm set up. You know that, tra that there's a trailer in the middle of the field there, all by itself. Yes. That's mine. Okay. That's my <laughs> observatory. <laughs> sure. And he's uh, mentioned he's a subscriber, and he's telling me I need to slow down a little bit in the tutorials moving the mouse around too fast, which I've heard many times before, yeah. and, but I appreciate the, uh, your input there. My pleasure. <laughs> and that's with all due respect, okay? <laughs> yes. Because I have a lot of respect for this guy. Yeah, if you could just a little bit, just I, enough to say. For you, I will, so. <laughs> <laughs> Great meeting you. Great meeting you, sir. It was a Thank pleasure you meeting much. you. Yes. 115 millimeter aperture. This is only a 15 pound scope. Sky yeah. shed we brought up and put here on a trailer, oh, wow. then the first pod. Then we brought three up the next year. Even Luna, Luna was like, hey, Laura. <laughs> I made a rookie mistake on this trip. I didn't bring a backup power supply for Ashley's mount and the DC plug was broken. Ash thought her plans for the Triangulum Galaxy were over until Steve MacGyvered a solution for us back in his camper. Is it going right now? It's going right now. Are you sure? I hit the button again. Okay. Right on there. And that. He did it! Does it work? You're shooting with this tonight. Steve saves the day again. <laughs> he had a missing part that we needed. And back to the Triangulum Galaxy. Yeah! <laughs> The same galaxy, the same night, five years apart. A lot has changed since then, and to be completely honest with you, it feels like it all changed after that night. This astrophotography journey has heightened my perception of time and where we fit on a massive scale. How could it not, as we look millions of light years into the past? Five years feels like an eternity and a brief moment at the same time. So Andromeda basically looks as it did five years ago, but I know that it has changed and I'm okay with that.
you think of these clouds? You know, they keep rolling in. I think we're done with the rain. That's, yeah, that's good. Start setting up soon, maybe. Yeah, we do.